here it is. The day that we've been waiting for. We didn't think that this would ever come. Available to the masses. The Valve Steam Deck Dock. Let's open it up. This is almost as exciting as when the Steam Deck launched. What do we have? Designed by Valve. Contents. One docking station. Assembled in China. There's not much else here. Let's open it. The Surgical Precision. Oh, there it is. Okay. This RGB light is getting out of hand. Now let's take a closer look. What do we have? Ooh, the official layout. It's a little bit of cardboard schmutz there. Okay. Wow, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. We have DisplayPort, HDMI, USB-C power in, Ethernet, I'm assuming gigabit Ethernet, and then I believe they upgraded these to three USB 3.0 ports. Maximum input, 20 volt, 2.25 amp. What else is in here? Let's put this aside for now. I mean, they put that right on top, so I had no choice, right? And a power adapter. Okay, here's the manual. Information. Health and safety. Uh-huh. This is another valve. Is it a Ciccone? You better believe it. Yep, here's another Ciccone 45 watt. What do we got here? It's small footprint. And we've got the USB-C dongle that, that, that clips onto the top. How does the deck look on this? Well, yeah. Oh, that looks pretty good though. It's not bad. And how does it cover the vents? It does not at all. It's the dock stops right at the line where the vent starts, so very nice. And then of course, how does this fit? Clips right in with room to spare. Plenty of length to it. It's got like a little bit of an overhang that kind of matches with the, the beveled edge of the top. You can kind of see that here. So that's kind of nice gives you something to kind of lift on when you pry it off. This has MST, which stands for Multi-Stream Transport. And this will allow it to do DisplayPort and HDMI out so you can do dual screen without needing a separate unit. So at a price of $89 with the power adapter included, it's not bad. JSOX had their own version. I couldn't get a hold of it. So they seem to have it now, you know, it's only $60 and you can get that 10% off code if it's your first order, which is kind of nice. But it's not the official dock and it's a little bit wider. Um, it is that aluminum where this is plastic, but again, this has the steam emblem on it. That's kind of cool too. But yeah, I like this is kind of a nicer flexible cable on it. The uh, beveling here, if you notice, is designed and contoured to fit the deck. So as you plug it in, it kind of matches it. It's, it has that nice, satisfying look and feel to it as it clicks in. And then you can pull it off and it's got kind of a lip. They're kind of keeping this beveled edge intact as far as like the aesthetics go. Very neat. But we want to see how this performs. How does it work? Let's do some testing. I'm probably gonna brick this thing out. So remember kids, 
log in first before accepting the dock update. Otherwise, hitting the buttons will just queue them up and apparently spam them once you've logged in. Okay, so we've got the Steam Deck dock hooked up here. I plugged in everything. I've got DisplayPort, HDMI, the power cable, Ethernet, and mouse and keyboard hooked up to my KVM. Let's try a few things. Let's test the Steam Deck, of course. We want to do that first. And let's see, with Windows, let's see how this behaves. I'm going to plug in Doc. Here's some sounds. It's disappeared, so let's take a look at the screens here. And it looks like it's able to mirror to two screens, so the dock is actually working to split things up. Let's see if we can adjust the settings here. We want to extend. I was not able to change it in time. This is proving to be an extra challenge. A giant waste of time. It's not working how I thought it would. Boy, everything is just out of whack. One eternity later. Okay, so Windows. Not working so good with this dock. It is very angry. It won't let me get out of 640 by 480. And now I seem to have lost the ability to connect to my main 4K monitor, which was just working a second ago. Let me see if unhooking the DisplayPort adapter will make HDMI work on that or something. I don't know. Okay, so doing one screen seems to work. So this should be an HDMI cable that supports 4K 60 and not getting 4K 60 right now. And I'm using the official adapter, the power adapter and everything. It won't let us do 60 Hertz. I decided to pull the power cord out and just have the dock run directly. This uh, second screen over here still doesn't want to get out of 640 by 480, but we're not on you know, we're on battery, so we're not charging. Over on the main screen, you can see that we have 60 hertz now, and mouse is smooth. So I don't know what just happened here, but now things are working. It is passing through 4K 60, but without the power adapter plugged in. So I don't know if that's a bug with the thing. Or if that's intentional, where it'll only limit it to 30 hertz when it's charging. Let's switch back into SteamOS and see if that behavior follows it. Now we're into SteamOS, and you can see that I'm not hooked up yet. So let's test hooking this up with power hooked up again. And let's see what it does. Oh, interesting. Okay, the screen went over to this monitor, which is hooked up with HDMI. The other monitor, which is on DisplayPort, did not get picked up. So let me see if there's any settings we can adjust in here. Go into Display Settings. And the resolution automatically set is set to 1080p, because that's all that this monitor will do here on the left. But I'm not seeing any display settings for the other monitor. Let's see what desktop mode shows us. Okay, so we've got our left screen, and the Steam Deck is on, but nothing on the main screen. So let's tweak some settings here and see what we can get. It wasn't plugged in all the way. That would probably do it. We've got three screens showing up. We're only getting 1440p right now, it seems. So let's see if we could adjust that up to 4K. Yep, and it reverted itself, so... Something with 4K is just not quite right with this dock. We're getting two screens, but not getting 4K. So that's kind of a disappointment. Let me try to swap these around. I'm going to try something quick. Alright, so I switched my... I have a display port to HDMI adapter, and it's an active adapter, but I'm thinking that maybe there's a little issue with it. So I moved that to... The 1080p screen, which I know will do 1080-60. I plug the HDMI from the 4K monitor directly into the dock now. Okay, so now it went to the main screen this time. It just shows 4K-60 as an option, so let's see. 
Well, that seems to be working. The interface is a little small. Let's scale it up here. Okay, so that's working. Let's switch into desktop mode again and see what options we get now. Okay, so now I do have a screen here and I do have two other screens. Let me re-enable the Steam Deck screen. Okay, there we go. We got 4K60 finally. Anything over here? Okay. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we got 4K60 on the main, 1080p60 on the left, and 1280x860 on the right. So we finally got all screens to do their full 60Hz refresh rates. And yeah, the mouse moves around, feels smooth, so this definitely feels like 4K60. And it, it seems like I might have figured out the right combination of things to try. So that's good. That is good. That's what we wanted to see. Now, what I wanted to test was what other things can dock with the dock. Okay, so now I have the Nintendo Switch available here. Let's see if this will work with the dock. It doesn't really fit on here, so I'm going to have to flip it sideways. So that way if it does work... Oh, it doesn't even sit in here. The lip isn't high enough, so I'm really thinking this isn't going to work at all. But let's give it a shot. Plugged in. It's not doing anything. It's not even charging. So this looks to be a no-go. No Nintendo Switch for the Steam Deck dock. 2018 iPad Pro with the USB-C port. So let's give this a shot. Okay, it detected something. It's charging. Hey, what do you know? It actually works with an iPad. It is, it mirrored over to the left screen. So the MST part of this dock is working out. It'll do three screens. Okay, so for another test, I have a Surface Go 2, and this has a USB-C port. So you can't really put it in the stand. And just like with the iPad, it didn't really fit either. The nice thing about the Surface is that it's got the built-in kickstand and you can just go boom right there and then take your USB-C connector for the Steam Deck, hook it up, and we got a monitor. And it worked to go all the way over to the other monitor as well. So we're seeing all three. Now let's see if we can extend the screens out 4K60 and all that jazz. Nope, it won't let us go up to 4K. So 1440p is the max that it allows through the Steam Deck dock. Just weird, weird combinations. Let's try my Dell XPS 15 laptop here. Okay. And we got two USB-C ports. They're Thunderbolt enabled, so they're right here. Well, let's just see. Yeah, we're not getting any screens here. So I'm thinking it's not working. I'm not getting any mouse or anything. Let's do that other test where we unhook the power from it. So now I have the USB-C unhooked for power. Let's test this again. Ah, there we go. And there's my second and third screens. But having it plugged in does not seem to work. Really weird. Let's see if we got 60. Yeah, there it is. It's getting 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. So we're getting 4K 60. We have a Galaxy S20. So let's see if this will work. Yeah, it fits in there pretty good. And let's plug it in here. Samsung DeX wants to start. Samsung DeX shows up on both screens. Man, I just love Samsung devices. They have all this functionality. This is sweet. Samsung DeX. Okay, let's see what we got. Display resolution. It looks like 1080p is our option here. If you did want to have Samsung DeX support, or whatever, USB-C, HDMI, pass-through, all that stuff. It does work with the Samsung S20, uh, probably with the other models as well. 
So there you have it, the Steam Deck dock does seem to work the best with the Steam Deck. Uh, there's little weird issues when you hook it up to other devices, but uh, there are workarounds to get the, you know, get the displays to work the way you want it to. But, but yeah, the uh, Steam Deck works pretty well with the Steam Deck dock. This is kind of what you want. Uh, it seems to be the way to get the dock to work appropriately. Uh, I'm guessing there will probably be some updates to make it more friendly to other devices, so I wouldn't be too concerned with its weird issues right now. It is very new. It is freshly released. Uh, would I recommend this over third-party options like the JSOX dock or anything you can get from Anchor out on like Amazon or, or anything like that? Um, it all depends. If, uh, if you want the full first party support, then I would say then sure. This is probably going to get, you know, those updates that'll make it work better. But I think the updates are going to work fine for any device that's plugged in that's a uh, USB-C style dock. Well, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up if you like the video and hit subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, still working on the ARC A380 benchmark video, so keep an eye out for that one. Uh, that one should be coming up soon. And anyway, you have a great week. Thanks for watching again, and take care. God bless.